you, Jim. Comments? Anyone? This is going to take a hell of a lot of organization. We'll have to stand the police down and put the army in their place. We barely have time to talk. We need to get this thing moving. Then, shall we reconvene at 1800? Excuse me. No, stop it. I have something to say. Really? Well, it's, uh, it's nice you want to make a contribution. Uh, what was your name? Lois. <clears throat> Lois Habiba, sir. Well, thank you for your hard work, Lois. It's much appreciated, but this really isn't the best time. I'm sorry, sir. I know I'm only supposed to be here to take notes, but um, I am a voter. Listen, love, this isn't a referendum. Lois, could I have a word outside? No, but it needs saying. Oh, seriously, not now. And I'm not just speaking on my own behalf. <sighs> just what we need, a revolutionary. If you like, sir, then that's what I am. Oh, yeah? You and whose army? Torchwood. What? Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. I think she's doing it. Good oh, girl. But Torchwood has been recording all these meetings. And everything that's been said around this table, every single word spoken by every single one of you, will be made public. Unless you do exactly what Torchwood says. Tracy Andrews calls, did you? On the floor! Uh, now that you're here, you can take me to Alice and Stephen Carter. You'll be in the very next cell. Second thoughts, maybe I'll just have you shot while resisting arrest. That would be a mistake. Why? Take a look at what we've been recording. And how exactly are you going to make us do this? Torchwood's been destroyed. I'm afraid not, sir. Right now, Captain Jack Harkness, head of the Torchwood Institute, is in the reception of the MI5 building. So you're going to stand aside and let him do his job and deal with the 456 immediately. And, uh, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 